it is widely known, perhaps more so now than at any point in recent history, that Aaron Burr got the best of Alexander Hamilton in their fatal duel in 1804. What is less known is that Burr hustled Hamilton in one of their last convoluted collaborations, a bit of deceit that would lead New York City to one of its greatest public works projects. In a city still panicked by the yellow fever epidemic of 1798, the perennial adversaries joined forces to support Burr's proposed legislative charter for the Manhattan Company, a private utility that would provide fresh water piped from the Bronx River instead of drawn from tainted wells. But what Burr really had in mind were liquid assets of another sort, he took advantage of an overlooked provision in the legislation and diverted the Manhattan Company's profits to establish what would become the Chase Bank, to compete with Hamilton's Bank of New York. To protect its charter, Burr's bank would continue pumping water ceremoniously in Lower Manhattan well into the early 20th century. But the chicanery left the expanding city with a woefully insufficient supply. The city's leaders responded by embarking on a monumental public works project, the Croton Aqueduct. The 175th anniversary of its completion is being celebrated with an exhibition through December. 31 at the Museum of the City of New York. To quench the thirst of New Yorkers, the Croton Aqueduct at 175 features 19th century maps, drawings, and artifacts, along with contemporary photographs, to illustrate an engineering feat that delivered potable water by gravity 41 miles to Manhattan from the Croton River in Westchester County. Manhattan was surrounded by water, of course, but it was brackish and undrinkable. By the 1800s, Lower Manhattan's ponds and aquifers had already become polluted. Meanwhile, the sources for potable water were diminishing. Wells were being depleted. The collect pond was so contaminated by the runoff from tanneries and slaughterhouses that it had been filled in around 1811 to become the notorious Five Points Slum. As periodic summer epidemics plagued Manhattanites who would escape to their country homes in Greenwich Village, Drive. Joseph Brown, who happened to be Burr's brother-in-law warned that only an adequate supply of fresh water would secure the health and wealth of the city. Construction of the Croton Aqueduct from a 500 million gallon reservoir, created by damming the Croton River, began near what is now Ossining under the direction of John B. Jervis, the chief engineer and a veteran of the Erie Canal construction. The exhibition includes original drawings of the aqueduct's dams, bridges, tunnels and other features that Jervis had commissioned from Fayette B. Tower, an engineer and artist. His route along the old Croton Aqueduct Trail was retraced and reinterpreted by a modern photographer, Nathan Kensinger. The project required construction of the first bridge linking Manhattan to the mainland, the Arched High Bridge, which carried iron pipes 150 feet above the Harlem River. As the work progressed into Manhattan, Tower wrote his mother, I am now among the vanities, the follies and dissipation of the great city of New York. Still, he assured her, if on the other hand there be any good influence or advantages in this city they too are carried to the greatest extent.